Hello boys and girls. Okay, so it's currently the 29th of December. I've literally not left the house in probably like a whole week to be honest because I don't know about anyone else but as soon as it's Christmas time and it's this like period in between Christmas and New Year's Every day is a Sunday and all I'm wearing is PJs, I'm in bed, I'm watching TV, I'm living a good life, you know? So I thought I would actually do something productive today and actually film a video. I thought I would do a little New Year's Eve get ready with me and tutorial, even though it's obviously not New Year's Eve yet. Um, I don't even know what I'm doing for New Year's Eve, to be honest. I think I'm just going to have a quiet one because... Your girl is just like living her cozy life at the minute to be honest. But yeah, I thought I'd do a little New Year's Eve tutorial and get ready with me for those of you that are going out. You can probably like put this on in the background, have a little drink with me, that kind of vibe. I've already done my brows and primed my eyes and I thought we'd try a palette today that I've literally owned for probably a year at this point. Like I probably, in fact, no I did. I bought this palette last year, 2018, okay, and I've never used it. <laughs> I don't know why, okay, because it's actually the most beautiful palette ever, but this is the Jeffree Star Thirsty Palette. Um, I thought we'd use this on the eyes because I'm just feeling it, you know, like these crease colours, these matte colours in the crease, a little shimmery moment on the lid. I feel like it's going to be cute, you know? Okay, so I'm going to start with this shade here. It's kind of just like a warm crease colour. It literally feels so weird putting makeup on. Like, I'm not exaggerating when I say... I do not go out at Christmas time, okay? I do not wear makeup. I don't go out into town. Like, I am that person that will literally stay in PJs all day, every day, and just watch films with my family. Like, that is me. But yeah, how was everyone's Christmas? I hope you all had a lovely time. I had my nana and gramps come up, so we went to see them on Christmas Day. Um, as well as like my uncle Tom and my auntie Jen. So that's like my mum's side of the family And then we also went to see my dad's side of the family as well, which was really nice So we went to see my nana and granddad as well We don't usually like really go out on Christmas Day, but it was kind of nice to actually go out and see family That is so pretty. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm in it. I don't know why I've not used this palette sooner, honestly like <laughs> Oh, I just have too much makeup. It's actually stress. Okay, and then I'm gonna take this shade here. I think I'm gonna mix, what's this called? So this is Stroke and I'm gonna mix Drizzle as well, I think, and kind of build up the outer corner. I'm just gonna do something really like soft glam. Oh, okay, right. Say no more. Say no more. Okay, so I'm just using a Morphe M514. And I'm literally just going to kind of add this to the outer corner, wing it out really, really gently. Oh my god, my eyebrows need plucking so bad. Okay, let's ignore that. But yeah, I hope everyone had a lovely Christmas. Let me know what your plans are for New Year's as well because honestly, like, I really don't know what I'm doing this year. I was just talking to Rachel about this because she texts me and like, what is everyone doing for New Year's because I literally need some inspo. I don't know if it's just me, but I really don't like going out into town on New Year's Eve. Like, I do not like going into Manchester. Like, I don't like going to a club or anything or even going to like an event where you can get tickets or whatever. I just think it's so stressful like i've done town twice in the past for new year's eve like me and isla went out one year or did we do both years actually i can't remember but me and my friend isla have been out a couple of times for new year's eve and honestly like it's just stress like it's so busy it's like you can't even move if you go out anywhere last year as well i just had a really quiet one like i literally spent new year's eve in the day watching season one of you which I feel like it's stage of it because I'm watching season two at the minute. And then we just watched the fireworks and all my family came over and like all my cousins, my aunties, my uncles. But yeah, so I'm watching season two of You at the minute. If anyone has been watching, what the hell? Do you know what? I feel like this season has been a little bit more slow than season one. Maybe it's just me. I feel like what are we on now? We're probably on like episode seven and now I'm kind of like right, like I'm getting into it if you know what I mean. But I feel like the first couple of episodes I was just a bit like dragging, like I couldn't get through them. So yeah, we literally binge watched like the first few episodes and then um, yeah, we've kind of got to like the good bit now. I don't want to say anything in case like people haven't watched it or whatever. I still think I prefer season one. I think I prefer like the characters in season one as well. Like, I thought Shay Mitchell was really good as Peach. I think I'm going to start watching The Witcher as well. I don't know if anyone's watched that yet. Um, Charlie, my brother, is literally constantly talking about that at the minute. <laughs> um, it's kind of like a new 
season on netflix kind of like game of thrones vibe i could be wrong again if anyone's watched it let me know if it's any good <laughs> before i start i feel like that is at a nice spot that literally took like less than 10 minutes to blend all of that i think i'm gonna go in with one of the beauty bay living my best light um liquid eyeshadows i was about to say palette this is in the shade precious topaz i'm gonna just pat this oh that is pretty okay Just gonna kind of lightly like cut the crease with this. Before it dries, I think I'm gonna go over with one of the shades in here as well. So maybe I'll try this shade, which is Snatch. Just gonna kind of pat it on at first. And then I'm actually gonna use a little bit of the plunge shade, which is like the darker one, just to kind of mesh in the middle. Okay, and then I'm actually gonna have to dip into another palette because the brown in the Thirsty palette isn't deep enough for what I want. Um, I'm gonna do like a shadow wing liner, so I'm just gonna use the deep brown from the Kylie bronze palette. Um, you just kinda wanna use like a slim angled liner brush for this and just create like a wing and then smudge it down to the lash line. I always prefer to do a shadow liner on top of kind of like sparkly eyeshadow as well because I feel like it's really hard sometimes to apply gels or liquids on top. Maybe that's just me. Okay, one trick that I'm really enjoying doing at the minute as well is using a gel liner in my upper tight line and also on the very lower part of the wing. So what I do with this, this is the Anastasia Jet Waterproof Cream Colour Base. Um, I'm going to take a different angled liner brush. This is a MAC 266. It's actually a little bit dirty. So just take a small amount. You literally need like the tiniest bit with this and you just want to push it up against the lashes underneath so that's kind of like your upper tight line and then just flip the brush over and do the inner part it's really hard to do this whilst talking and then i basically take a tiny bit more and i'm gonna like push that in to the lashes on top and that's basically just gonna help to conceal the lashes, like the false lashes that we apply next. So you kind of just wanna push it in and I'm gonna do a tiny wing shape, kind of like inside the eyeshadow wing that we've already done. Gosh, it's so hard to talk whilst doing this, but I really want to explain what I'm doing. Kind of just like smudge that out with the eyeshadow and it what it kind of does is like it really intensifies the wing liner that you've got on. You can see already, but it still keeps it more of like a natural looking wing, if that makes sense. So I don't really like having a really big extra wing anymore. I kind of like more of like a smudged, kind of just like a smudged lash line. So... I really like this technique because it still gives you a nice amount of definition to your lash line and really helps to conceal any false lashes but it doesn't look as kind of like intense as like a big like black liquid liner if that makes sense so just want to go over with I'm using black eyeshadow on the brush that I used to do the shadow liner so this is a Zoeva 317 wing brush I'm just taking the black and the brown from the Kylie palette and I'm going over on top of the gel liner just to kind of blend it in to the shadow one. For lashes, I thought we would try out the Doll Beauty. I think I'm going to use Esmeralda's today. Um, yeah, I thought we would give these a go. I've never used these before, so this could completely like ruin my idea for this look, but still, we're going to give it a go. So I'm going to pop those on off camera and I'll be right back. Lashes are on. I'm actually obsessed with them. So great. I was worried they were going to be a little bit too like not dense enough for what I like because I do usually like a really a really dense lash but I actually love these like I love how fluffy they are fluffy <laughs> I love how fluffy they are I'm gonna use some of the Ulla Henriksen banana bright face primer oh I've got a really bad itch <laughs> I've not actually used this in quite a while so I thought we would kind of like give this another go okay and then foundation wise i'm gonna mix two of my favorite foundations this is probably like my go-to foundation combo that i always use so it's both Giorgio Armani Power Fabric and Luminous Silk. And Power Fabric is in the shade 6 and my Luminous Silk is the shade 6.5. 
have to admit I'm not very tanned right now so it's probably gonna be a bit dark but it's fine see it's gonna match my face fine probably but it's not gonna match my hands because my hands are literally bare with tan at the minute they've not got anything on do you know what it actually feels really nice to put makeup on like I've not had makeup on in the longest time because I really am just hibernating right now <laughs> okay and then as always we need a little bit of cream bronzer Oh, I'm so upset. This foundation stick by L'Oreal. This is the infallible longwear foundation stick. I use the shade Caramel Toffee, I think it is. I'm having a nightmare with this stick at the minute because it's been discontinued and I'm literally on, like, the very last straw. Like, I cannot twist it up anymore. It's basically gone. I don't know why L'Oreal have discontinued this. It's actually quite rude. <laughs> like, the same with my, um... Sorry, excuse my hands. I'm going to have to fake tan the rest of my body with instant tan. So we're just going to have to ignore that right now. But it's like my Makeup Forever lip liner. It's like the Aqua lip liner in the shade 1C. Again, discontinued. And Julian, actually very kindly from Makeup Forever, sent me two that he found at the like stock room. But again, it's like all my favourite things get discontinued and it's just upsetting. I don't know why. Okay, And now I found out, right, moving on to concealer and powder, okay. Apparently... I don't know if this is a rumour, but I keep seeing so many comments that YSL are discontinuing this um, souffle de clap powder as well, which if that goes, I just feel like I'm going to retire. Like, honestly, I'm going to retire from makeup at that point because I'm not going to know what to do without this powder. It's literally my favourite thing ever. Oh, also, I really wanted to talk to you guys about kind of like... Video, like a video idea but also like a series idea that I have for my channel next year so I kind of wanted to like chat to you about it and see what your thoughts are and if it's something that you'd be interested in watching basically my mum and dad had this idea ages ago they had this idea like early last year and when they told me it, I was kind of like mm, like sounds interesting but I don't really know if it's something that I'd want to do whereas now the more that I think about it the more it's something I really want to do so it's kind of like the idea of doing like a monthly challenge video so basically like the whole idea would be around learning like a new skill so for example it could be like something sports related where I learn like a new sport it's kind of like the idea of like something that I have no experience and no skill in and then like learning to do that throughout a month and seeing how much I can develop if that makes sense so I kind of had the idea of doing it in January and doing it with the gym because I really want to make more effort with fitness next year because I actually really love going to the gym but I just get into phases where I don't go um so I was gonna do kind of like a month in January where I go to the gym every single day and see like basically see like what results I get from the gym if I go consistently for a month if that makes sense and kind of like vlog the experience like vlog what stuff I'm doing at the gym and then going forward it'd be like stuff that you guys could vote for so kind of like literally anything like literally stuff that I have no experience in like dance for example like I'm not a dancer I cannot dance to save my life like and it'd be like giving myself a month to pretty much like improve and learn something as much as I possibly could and then seeing what like the before and after is and like the whole journey if that makes sense because the thing is as well like there's always so many things that I want to like do and learn like for example okay I really wanted to do pole dancing this year <laughs> which I never got around to doing and I feel like it would be so much fun because my mum actually works with someone that goes to like pole dancing lessons like every week I think and like it's just such a good way of like staying fit like building your core strength I don't know like things like that or for example I used to go horse riding all the time and I actually loved horse riding okay but I don't know I just stopped so it's it kind of be like seeing how much seeing how good I could get in a month at doing one thing if that makes sense like I don't know if I'm explaining this right but still I was actually on YouTube last night it was so weird I was actually on YouTube and this type of video came up suggested in my like suggested feed on my homepage. it's by I think she's called Michelle I'm pretty sure I actually watched a couple of her videos last night and I really loved the concept of hers she does like a series called challenge accepted on her channel where she basically like her subscribers must like suggest challenges and then she does it for like however many weeks, however many months to see like the before and after. And similarly, like 
loads of videos recently have been suggested to me where people learn like something over a year and it's like the whole process of like learning it and seeing like how good they can get and whatever else so it kind of be that type of vibe but yeah that's like an idea of content that I had for the new year because I really want to try and do like not like totally different type of stuff but I want to I do want to like switch out other stuff that I'm doing okay so I just used a little bit of MAC Studio Fix shade NW35 on the rest of the skin um, I'm going to use some of my cheek leaders um benefit palette which is my favorite face palette ever so I'm going to use Pull out to bronze and contour and contour my nose as well and then Coralista as blush and Cookie as highlighter. You can see it's got this like big dint in it because I literally use it all the time. But yeah, I kind of just really want to like switch up my content next year. Like if there's any other stuff that you guys want to see, let me know. I do stuff that's a little bit more fun, a little bit more different. Um, I think I'm going to try and make an effort to volunteer a little bit more next year at like different charities. Like I really want to volunteer more at... Um, animal charities next year because I actually donate to quite a few and like follow quite a few and stuff and it's something that I really really care about because you guys know how much I love animals and stuff so I don't know just like any type of content that you'd be interested in seeing let me know I really want to like switch up the way I do hauls next year as well for example and try and do maybe some more like secondhand type hauls and like thrift shop type hauls and vintage shopping type like videos for example i was gonna i had a video idea that i might do again if you guys want to see where i maybe purchase some like secondhand designer bags when i say some i mean probably like three because they're still expensive <laughs> testing out like luxury secondhand designer online shops for example because i hear so much about like vestia collective for example and like rebel that type of vibe and i thought we could like test them out and see like i don't know like see what the vibe is see what you get for your money because you know shopping designer is expensive but yeah i just got all sorts of ideas so if any of that sounds appealing and sounds like something you guys would enjoy let me know i really want to do more collab videos in the new year as well so i'm gonna try and work on that a little bit okay i'm gonna finish off the under eye and i'm just gonna mix these kind of like warm neutrals that we used in the crease on the lower lash line okay so i'm using a backstage beauty blender brush i do actually have a code for backstage beauty which is just hand x a 10 if you purchase anything there um i actually need to order some new rodeo drive lashes because they're probably my favorite lashes of all time i'm not gonna lie if you've not tried them from backstage beauty they're actually quite affordable as well i'm pretty sure they're like less than 10 pounds and they're like faux mink as well they're not mink which you know again i want to try and make an effort to maybe use more cruelty free stuff next year and less like mink lashes because i know i know i shouldn't do it okay so for lips i'm gonna use strip down by mac an oldie but a goodie and then i'm also gonna use a lipstick by mac which is just called stripped and i don't know if this is discontinued or it was limited edition because I wore this in a clothing haul, like my last video, my misguided haul, and I had a question about this, and I told the girl what the lipstick was called, and she said she couldn't find it anywhere online, so I don't know if it's discontinued or it was limited edition, but it literally all it says is stripped matte lipstick, and it's a MAC lipstick, so hopefully I can find a link to that somewhere. And then the gloss that I'm going to use is the Kiko Milano 3D Hydra Lip Gloss in the shade 18, which... 100% one of the most beautiful lip glosses ever. Rachel got me on these and I'm obsessed. So I'm gonna pop that on and we're pretty much done. Okay, so this is pretty much the finished look. I really hope you guys like it. It's very, very me, let's be honest. It's a very typical look for me, but I actually really love the way it came out. I feel like the skin looks really pretty, really glowy, which we love. Thank you so much for the most incredible 2019. Like it's honestly been one of the best years of my life by far. I love you guys as always and I will see you in the new year, shorter.